Hello all and welcome to the latest edition of Belfast Worm Farming video. Um, during the night we had some amazing uh, news. Our YouTube channel had over 1,000 views. Yay! Yay! We're over the moon with the support. And the likes and the comments. And the likes and the comments. Yes we are. What's been your favourite bit so far Oliver? Holding worms. Holding worms. What's been your favourite bit Harry? Everything. Everything. Uh, we started our YouTube channel back in November, uh, November the 12th to be precise, and the first video was about two minutes long of some worms that we had. Check it out, it's not that interesting. Um, but since then we've learned how to film better, how to edit better, how to post better, and how to just be ourselves in front of the camera instead of like acting like idiots basically. <laughs> We're having fun and that's the main thing. <laughs> When we started back in November, we didn't think that we would get many people following us, um, liking our videos, commenting on them, or even watching them. Um, but as we progressed, uh, our fan base has slowly increased. We now have 24 subscribers, and as we said at the start, over a thousand views on our YouTube channel, which is just absolutely awesome. Yes, it is. Um, we'd like to thank Anne from Anne's Tiny Life. Um, almost every video, Anne's either liked, commented, or um, he's definitely watched them all anyway. So big thumbs up to Anne. You're Hello. awesome. Um, we'll leave a comment below in the later on Hello. for a link to Anne's tiny life. Um, she also has a small worm farm and also she's setting up, um, she, she bought a van and she's gonna travel around America in a van. Um, so yes, it's awesome, check that out. Um, in the last video we fed the worms some dragon fruit. We had a quick check on our worms just then and they're, they're, they're absolutely loving it, um, munching away and they're making worm balls just below each one. Worm ball is where the worms all join together in like one big lump and they feed and multiply and lay cocoons. Um, so yes, we just had a quick look. Um, today's treat for the worms is avocado. Oliver wants to hold an avocado. Right, you hold it up to the camera. This is avocado. Turn it around slowly. Turn it around slowly. That's an avocado. So yeah, so we're going to feed the worms and uh, we're going to feed the worms some avocado and then wrap them up because uh, snow's forecast for here in Belfast tonight um, with a low of minus one. So we're going to cover the worms up with excess paper and cardboard and then the worm bins we're going to stack cardboard on the top in the hope that it retains some heat um, and then in the main shed that will be warm enough anyway so we don't need to worry about that but it's just the boys shed behind us here this is how we winterize our worm bins we added plenty of paper and, and some cardboard we don't add moisture to this because it just we there's a plenty of moisture in there because we use polystyrene boxes if we look on underneath over here there's a worm snug that's full of worms this is the one in the last video we showed you is falling apart where the worms are munching on it. And um, there's some dragon fruit there and we just added some avocado to this bin. Um, yeah, we don't we don't need to add any more moisture to this because there's plenty of moisture in there and if we add more moisture it just runs the risk of um, the cold getting into this. So yeah, that's that's how we've set up all of our bins for this cold snap that we're going to get for the next few days here in Belfast. We're going to make a hamster. We're going to make a hamster shed out of it. No. No, it's a guinea pig shed. A guinea pig shed. The boys wanted a pig and we compromised and we set up a guinea pig. So at some point the boys will be getting a guinea pig and they have a play shed that they don't use anymore. So we're going to use that as a guinea pig house for the guinea pigs. Um, we have a big garden and we segregated it halfway along. The, so the dog has one half and the kids have the other half. So the guinea pig, pigs, sorry, because we get more than one. And the guinea pigs will be on the other side. So Oliver's quite excited about getting guinea pigs. Yes, for my birthday after Florida. <laughs> yeah, I see. We're going to Florida in the summer. Funny. It'd been suggested that the star of the show is actually Harry and Oliver. Um, them two. Um, so what we're going to do, or Harry will introduce it. We are going to do a Q&A session. Just with Oliver and I without Daddy's help. And we're going to answer the one question. I'm so excited. Great. Um, we've posted on Instagram and uh, Twitter. Um, so if you follow our 
uh, profiles on there, then you'll see that recently you've been asked the question, do you think it's a good idea or not? Leave your comments below. Yes, but no. Below. Mm. Right, so we're going to wrap up here. Um, thank you for watching. It's been awesome. Keep subscribing, liking and comment because we'd like to hear your comments. Um, let us know any thoughts or, or, or anything, basically. Or even if you want to ask us a question, um, we'd like to hear from you guys. Thanks very much. Till next time. Bye bye. Click up here if you want to see more. If you want to subscribe, click up here. Yeah. Yeah.